Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to mm, create circle in a couple of ways. So let's start it. The first, the easiest way to create a circle is just to, mm, to choose the, the circle command and then show to Rhino where you want to place this, the center of the circle. The center can be anywhere in, a, in your 3D space. Uh, gonna have a in specific place on your axis you have to type type it remember that the first is x then second is y and the third is z so let's start it um, so first is uh, x so this axis that one so i don't want to move anywhere from this is zero and then you have to write comma and then you have to place somewhere here which is probably 10 millimeters so you're typing 10 to comma i'm typing here as you can see and then z axis is also zero so type zero and just uh, confirm by pressing enter and then you have to choose what you want to do uh, you want to mm, make diameter size or you want to make a radius size you can make any size if you just press the left mouse button right now but you can specify so I'll specify let it be 30 diameter so now if you check uh, your diameter it's 30 all right mm. I prefer to start always to start from with zero point so I don't write anything I just write zero which means for I know center of your axis okay um, then second the mm, most important uh, second the second important the second way you can mm, create circle is just by extending circle by two points so let's check it's zero and now you can place the second point somewhere whatever or you can type 10 yeah, this is this is white yeah, so it's going to be 10, diameter of 10. But sometimes you need to um, just place the circle between two points. So you're choosing this one and then just... But you have to remember, you have to have a snap and box ticked. This is important. You can also make between middles of those um, curves. So you just need to go and have a mid selected and then when you just nearby the point the small um, small flag is coming out as now as it is now all right so now you sure you are in the middles okay the the third uh, way to create circle is between three points so i don't think i have to explain it you can do it as the same the same way as two points but using three points this is quite interesting a circle around curve uh, and the circle around curve uh, it's uh, let's just create some kind of curve I have to um, turn the four uh, windows on if you want to create circle around the curve uh, how it looks look I have to select curve I want to select mm, the place where it's gonna be and then just extend so look in perspective we know what's happening yeah the, the circle is uh, going to be created in perpendicular view so it's exactly perpendicular to curve so which is great uh, wherever you, you you put the circle is always perpendicular as you can see this is great too imagine now to create kind of uh, loft or kind of shape out of those uh, three shapes which is now easy um, and possible the third way the fourth way actually to make a circle is between mm, tangent uh, objects tangent curve tangent is a kind of mathematical continuity so if you have curve you will not able to do it between line because line is not tangent it's just a line uh, now i've creating as you can see points these points are Mathematic, mathematical um, um, construction of curve which gives her a data 
and if you want to put another data you can continue this mathematic continuity and this is just called continuity so, uh, so it, and they are called tangent or curvature in this case it is tangent so I will create um, circle between uh, tangent and tangent curve and then using radius so I will create another one somewhere here and now I'm going to create circle between one look this is tangency second one and now I'm going to select the, the axis of it. sometimes you is, uh, it's possible that you the the angle is too big so you're not able to create anything all right one two and then you have to specify okay and then if with if circle will come out then it means that it's it's you can use it and in this place where let's do it now in this places here there's going to be tangent they're going to be nice and smooth and going to be continued look i'll have to uh, trim a little bit hmm? so this one this is the curves i had and this is the circle so this is basically a uh, quite interesting tool when you are advanced modeling modeler all right so let's have a look for on another one mm, uh, so this is the same situation but it works to with three tangent curves so it will just place let's do it the nearest points are which are able to to be tangent the software that the rhino will do so one two and three and if you want to trim it right now and you will see that go it's going to be nice and smooth as it is now hmm? all right uh, and uh, those four actually I haven't been using any any time so uh, they are not uh, they're not interesting for me so um, I don't really care about them I always trying to explain the most important uh, most important comments all right so this is it for circle